Hey what's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Sony PlayStation Portable, or Sony PSP, using RetroArch. Now I prefer using the standalone PPSSPP emulator, but I know a lot of people don't want a ton of emulators on their system, so we're going to go with this one today. Fairly easy to set up, there's a few things you need to know before we get started. There's a few things you need to download. First up, I created a text file down below. This will allow us to enable the core in LaunchBox. Very easy to do. We're just gonna copy and paste these two lines under our associated platform and default command line parameters. Next thing is the ppgeatlas.zim. We will need this for the ppsspp core to work inside of RetroArch. You can get that from the link in the description. Just click download. Next thing you'll need are some PSP games. Most of these are .iso. There are a couple of games that are .cso, and I cannot get them to run in the RetroArch version of PPSSPP. There are a few other games that have some trouble also. If you want all of the games to work, I definitely recommend using the standalone version of PPSSPP. Let's go ahead and get started here. I have my folder with my games. I'm gonna place that in my LaunchBox directory under games. Now I know exactly where they are, easy access. We're gonna back up one, we're still in our LaunchBox directory. We need to go to emulators, RetroArch, if you have RetroArch located here. We need to launch the standalone version of RetroArch one time to set up the PPSSPP core. After that, we can launch all of our games through LaunchBox and BigBox. Scroll to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we need to find the PSP Core. Right here, go ahead and download. Back up, quit RetroArch. We're still in the RetroArch directory here. We need to go to System, PPSSPP, and we need to place the PPGE underscore Atlas dot Zim right in here. Now we can launch games through RetroArch with no trouble at all using the PPSSPP core. But we want to set this up inside of LaunchBox, so we're going to go ahead and start that. If you don't have RetroArch set up already inside of LaunchBox, you need to go ahead and do that. Brad and Jason have created some awesome tutorials. I'll leave them in the description below. Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. We wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna create a new one. So I have that text document that you downloaded, hopefully. Our associated platform will be Sony PSP. And our default command line parameter will be using the PPSSPP underscore libretro core. Copy. Paste. Make sure this is checked. Click OK. Close. All we need to do now is import our PSP games. Go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the import wizard here. Go ahead and read through all of this. Next. I'm gonna add a folder because I placed my Sony PSP games where I can find them very easily under LaunchBox. Games. Sony PSP. LaunchBox will scan this folder and find all of the games located inside of it. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported ROMs, Sony PSP, so we'll scroll down until we find that. Click Next. Choose an emulator. It should already be chosen now that we named it correctly. If not, drop down menu choose RetroArch. Click Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I already put them in my LaunchBox directory. 
Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database. This is recommended, but you can also use Wikipedia if you want. I always just use the LaunchBox Games database. Next, would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. Next. If this is your first time importing anything, you might be prompted to sign in to EMU Movies. I definitely recommend signing up with them. It's free to use, but if you donate, you can get more downloads per day. There's some really good music, artwork, and videos that can be downloaded from EMU Movies. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for PPSSPP. Next. This is the name of the game I'm importing, the file location, and the extension. Click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to search for and download all our images, artwork, metadata, things like that. Give it a little bit of time. I'm not importing too many games right now. If you're importing a lot, it could take a while. So just sit back and relax. My five games were imported successfully. Click OK. Over on the left hand side, we should now have a new Sony PSP option. As you can see, all of my games were imported successfully and they downloaded really awesome box art. Image type, 3D boxes, pretty nice. Carts, this will be your UMD on most of these games. It's time to start a game. I'm going to go with Little Big Planet, one of my favorite games for any system. It'll start up RetroArch, and you'll be playing Little Big Planet or whatever game you chose in no time. Like I said at the beginning, some games do have trouble working within RetroArch using the PPSSPP core. I found that a lot of the games I like to play do work, except for God of War Chains of Olympus, Power Stone Collection. Those were the two I couldn't get to work, and I have tested a bunch of them. So the core works pretty well. You might notice a little bit of slowdown compared to the standalone PPSSPP emulator. That's really why I recommend it. But I know a lot of people don't want to set up a bunch of emulators on their system. RetroArch is amazing and it's getting better every day. There are a few settings we can change to make it look better or worse, depending on your preferences. Within RetroArch, I have my menu toggle set up to pushing in both of my left and my right joysticks. We can find the game we're playing now. Go to Options, and there are a ton of options to choose from in here. One of the main things I mess around with is the internal resolution and the output resolution. I'm going to go a little higher and see how the game works. Let's go a little higher than 4K here. And the game looks so much better. I know the PSP looked great back in the day, but that's because it had a really nice condensed screen. So if you try to play these at the, you know, the stock resolution that the PSP came in, on a big screen, it will look a little pixelated. So if you want to set up that internal resolution a little higher, you can definitely do that. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. So I'll go back down a bit with my resolution. And this should work pretty good. Resume. Still looks great. And I'm hitting that 30 FPS mark, which most of these games ran at 30 FPS on the original PSP. Just press escape on your keyboard. It'll bring us right back into LaunchBox. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the LaunchBox YouTube channel because we got a lot of great stuff on the way.
If you guys have any requests for emulators, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do a full video on the standalone PPSSPP emulator because it just works a lot better in my opinion, but I know some people don't want extra emulators on their system. So I chose the RetroArch version. It does work pretty good, but there are some games that give me trouble in it. Like always, thanks for watching.